Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about removing the APFS formatting from a hard drive on a Mac. And when I say hard drive, I'm referring to flash drives, SD cards, hard drives, you name it. So I have a flash drive here I'll plug in, and it is formatted as APFS. And this is a really old uh, flash drive. It's only 512 megabytes. So if I click on it over here, you can see it says it's an APFS volume. And if I go up to erase here, I can change it to APFS encrypted, case sensitive, or case sensitive encrypted. I can't change this to fat. So what I can do is I can cancel out of here. I can go up to the upper left-hand corner and choose show all devices. And then I can go up to the actual drive itself, the physical disk, select that. And then I can go to erase and I can change this here to be fat or other formats. So if you have any trouble with this, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a brute force method of wiping the disk so you can format it however you want. So before I get into this, if you're not comfortable using the terminal, you're not gonna to wanna to do this. There's a chance you'll erase your main hard drive. There's a chance you'll uh, ruin your flash drive. Um, you know, beware of what you're doing here. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then you should probably not do it. And needless to say, you should have backups of everything if you're gonna be messing around with this stuff. So I'm going to go to the terminal and I'll type disk util list. And that will list out all of the disks mounted on the system. So we want to find this uh, flash drive I have here. So if I select that drive, you'll see it says disk 2. And then if I go to disk util, you'll see disk 2 here. And this says it has the GUID partition scheme and it's 503 megabytes. Then we also see this dev disk 5 synthesized, which is the same also. And if we click down through these partitions here, you can see it says disk 5. So in the terminal here, I'm going to type sudo space disk util space unmount disk, and it's all lowercase except for the D, space forward slash dev forward slash disk five, and I'll hit enter. It'll ask for my password, and now I'll do disk util list again. And now we see this disk is here, but it's unmounted, and we have disk two here also. So I'll do the same thing to disk two just in case, although it technically wasn't mounted. So now what I want to do is type sudo space dd space if equals forward slash dev forward slash zero space of equals forward slash dev forward slash disk two space bs equals one m space count equals one. So this is the command that could really mess things up here. You have sudo, which means run as administrator, dd, and that copies bits from one thing to another. So the first one is if, that means in file, equals dev zero. So dev zero on the system is like a file that just reads out zeros all day long. Of is the out file, and that is the disk we're looking at, which is dev disk two. bs means byte size equals one meg, and then count equals one. So this is going to write one megabyte of zeros to the front of that flash drive. So if you have the wrong disk in here, that could cause problems. And I can't guarantee this won't ruin your flash drive anyway, but if you're at your wit's end and you need to either fix it or throw it away, this might be a last resort. So we hit enter here. That was pretty fast. If we do disk util list again, we see disk two here. There's no disk five anymore. If we go back into disk utility, we see it here. We can go up to erase and now we can choose uh, fat. So I've chosen fat there. I'll hit erase. It's gonna format the disk, and I'll hit done. And now this flash drive will work in a Windows PC. And of course we can access it. I'll look at disk util list again. We see uh, Microsoft basic data untitled, and we see it on our desktop. And you can insert this into your Windows computer and see it now. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.